Today I am going on a solo camping trip. I just want to go camping. I haven't been camping in ages and I thought it'd be fun to bring you along. I'm kind of going deluxe camping. I've packed, I've packed my fridge from the van. I've got solar panels, I've got a battery pack, I've got a toaster and a kettle back there and then a tiny little tent. So come along with me for a little solo camp on the Cornish cliffs. Grab a cuppa, settle in and just escape to nature with me. I just want to get out there. I just want to get out into nature. I really miss camping. I haven't been in so long. It is currently really, really rainy. So we're just going to go in the rain and I'm going on my own. I quite like, I'm kind of one of those people that quite like spending time alone. And I find it like a really recharging and restorative to have that. It's now uh, coming up to se oh, seven o'clock, 10 past seven. <laughs> I have stopped off at a supermarket because I want to pick up some supplies for tonight. I'm going to go really basic. I'm not going to get anything that you can't make with just a kettle, but I'm really hungry already. So I've got to get dinner and breakfast. So let's go shopping and then we can hit up our camping spot. Let's do directions to the campsite. It's not far, I think it's like half an hour away. 22 minutes. Cool. I'm really excited to set up and just eat all this food I've just got. Let's go camping! Friday night, the mood is right and this weather is bright. I thought it would be quite fitting to go camping on an episode with you guys because I've done a couple of episodes on my own now Normally, if you're new to the channel, normally I make videos with my boyfriend Tom and we live in a, like we, we've lived in a transit van for like three years. Um, but now we are renting a house and we're kind of doing more like trips in the van. Yeah, on my own, I made a video before of me like stealth camping on my own in the, in the van. And then I also made one of me camping in the car on my own. So I thought it's only fitting um, that I go camping now on my own because this channel is all about nature, camping, outdoors, van life, just just making the most of nature. So I feel like that's what today will be. Actually, yeah, have I ever been on my own in the tent? I don't think I have. I don't know in what situation I would have done that. No, I haven't. So this is a first. But I just feel, it feels right. Yeah, I'm definitely one of those people that quite like, are quite happy with my own company. Yeah, it's like my little recharge. And there's no way, I just, I mean, I, I haven't done it before, but I can't imagine there's no better way than to just go out into nature on your own. The car is so heavy because of the, all the stuff I brought. So I brought like a huge battery. Our fridge, I took that out of the van, which was very heavy. I've just got all sorts. I just feel like if I'm going in, it's not like a, I'm walking with my back, back backpack. I may as well just go a little bit VIP camping. I was hoping that it could be kind of relatable because obviously lots of people don't have the luxury of like traveling full time. And actually maybe this could be the, the reason you need to just be like, yeah, I'm gonna get up and go on my weekend off. I'm gonna pack the car on a Friday night and I'm just gonna go. Oh my God, you can feel the braking distance. My car has really increased with this weight. I'm actually going to a campsite that's very nostalgic to me. Um, it's somewhere where I went a lot when I was younger. We did a lot of camping holidays in Cornwall. I grew up in Cornwall and with my cousins, we all went like camping in the summer holidays when we were little. And they're some of my best memories. I, I really loved going camping. And I think that might have been what made me just love camping and van life and like being in a camper van. I just think all of that really like built my love for it all. And doing the 10 tours and the DOV at school. Like I just, there's something I just love about having all your little basic needs met outdoors. It's just simple, everything's stripped back and you just, you just, you just really are in nature more. And I do love that. Well, I guess I could have gone wild camping, but I just, I just thought, you know what? I fancy being like kind of comfortable with the toilet and stuff and safe. And I might, I might take you guys on another episode where I go wild camping. 
I've got an idea to go off like to Bodmin Moor and go wild camping there. I just love doing stuff like this. Because I was so close to just being like, nah. Because I got in I got into bed and it was all cozy and it was pouring with rain outside. And I just thought, no. I think you'll enjoy it if you go. I think you'll have a better time if you actually just go. Despite how uncomfortable it might feel at first, I think I think it's better adventure. The windy lanes, the windy lanes, the dark, dark, windy lanes. I love going down this road. It feels like you're going into like the secret woods of the South Coast and going into this like dark avenue of trees and it feels like you're escaping the busy Towns and you're just heading out to the sea. Okay, I think Google Maps has taken me a weird way because I'm now on this like road with a grass verge in the middle, which is interesting. But we should nearly be there. We're three minutes away. Come on, Jabika. Very pretty around here. Lovely hedgerows. Here I am. I feel really emotional. I remember it so well. I love this place. This is like, this is where we used to have all our holidays. Oh my God. Literally welling up. <laughs> I just remember like playing over there with my cousin and wow it's been so long but i'm really glad i came here oh it's so lovely here right i best go and get checked in to reception <laughs> isabel, isabel yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So we've got your 93. Okay. Just there. Nice. Okay, and is it fine to park the car on the pitch? Okay. 93. That was good. So I'm on pitch 93. Now I've got to go set up my tent before it gets dark. I don't really want my pitch because it's very like close to other people. I was hoping for a little bit more privacy. So I might just choose, this is so weird. This is where we used to camp. I might just choose another pitch and then go and check that it's all right for me to stay on it. The guy at the reception was so nice and he's just said, yeah, that's fine to go on it. I haven't got as nice sea views, but I'd, I just prefer to have like a hedge behind me. I quite like that privacy. Yeah, it was just a little bit close, close to me. I don't really want, I don't want to be like hearing someone sleep and stuff. And I'm making this video, so I'm gonna be chat, chat, chatting to you guys. So let's get this tent up. I can't really remember to do this, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. One thing I do remember about this tent is like, it's got to be really, really tight to be waterproof. But there's loads of good straps and stuff that you can tighten after you've put it up. This tent is actually a really bad one to put up when it's raining because um, you have to put the inner up first. Right, there we go. That wasn't too bad, and it has started just raining a little bit, so I need to get my bed in there. <sighs> home sweet home. It smells a bit musty. Everyone on this campsite is going to think I'm mad talking to myself. I'm really glad because me and Tom both have the sleeping mat, and. His version of it is so disgusting because he walked the whole length of the country using it and it rained so much that his bag got mouldy. And luckily I picked out the nice clean one. I didn't get them out to check, I just gave it a good whiff. This one stinks. Okay, the next 
next thing I will rave about is my sleeping bag, which I got from a car boot sale last Saturday. It's, it was five pounds. It's never been used before. And it's Caramore Extreme Goose Down. And it had 116 pounds on the logo, on the label. It just looks like an old version of it. But I'm so excited to have a down sleeping bag. So I probably wouldn't buy one new, but they're so good and so warm. So this is the first time taking it out, so hopefully I don't get swindled. <gasps> it's pink! Oh my god. This is the best thing ever. I was not expecting it to be pink. Pink and purple, that's me. Yes. Hello, because why not? Okay, bedroom complete. Water by my bed. So my old pitch was going to be like in between that van and that tent over there in the middle. But I like my one, I've got a hedge, a bit more private and I can actually still see the sea. It's really, really nice and quiet on the campsite. Let me show you my VIP camping setup. <laughs> it's quite funny. I'm gonna make some food. Um, and yes, I have brought some unusual items you wouldn't normally bring camping. I brought my toaster and my kettle from home. And I haven't brought a camping stove. I've just gone really basic because I'm only here for one night. I'm gonna have just stuff you can make with a kettle tonight and toast in the morning. Um, but the reason I've got that is because we have been sent the Bluetti AC200L. I've never used it before. This has literally just arrived and I'm gonna try it out. I, I'm hoping it's gonna be able to cope fine with the toaster, the kettle. I've got loads of camera batteries that need charging um, and they have kindly sponsored this video. So shout out to Bluetti for making my little camping trip electrified. Let's put it to the test. This could be a real game changer for camping. If you've got something like this in the car, being able to go to a campsite and and not have to worry about having a plug-in electricity anywhere. Being able to be off-grid but have your little your power bank in the back of your car that your whole family and your friends can use. That's going to be really cool. So let's give this thing a go. Let's plug in the fridge. So I've got my fridge plugged in. Press the DC button. Let's see, that used up 6%. Do you know what, I'm actually really impressed because that is a really, really high powered kettle. That's like, pretty sure that's 2,700 watts. Okay, well that's amazing. I can't believe I've got a kettle in the back of my car. That's crazy. I'm gonna have a bagel on the side of my dinner. I'm gonna attempt to toast it. Toaster plugged in. Could get used to this kind of camping. I smell toast. Look at this little kitchen. I know I have to do this, the, you've got to do butter and cream cheese. I'm having a great time. Very glad I came. There is something about how food just tastes better when you're camping, it really does. It's just the whole ritual of making it and then that was, that was a funny experience having a kettle in the back. It can be as messy as you want outside, it doesn't matter.
definitely gonna take my children here when I'm older. I'm actually right where we used to camp. I'm not in the exact pitch, but I'm looking at the exact pitch. And there was one time we came here and it was so windy, our tent actually blew away. We all had to go and shelter in Pizza Hut. <laughs> Some Easter's holidays have bad weather in Cornwall. These are delicious. Quite funny, I'm actually going to a hen party tomorrow. <laughs> Straight from here. So I bought my whole outfit. I'm gonna try and get ready. I've even bought my straighteners. See if they work on the bluetti and hair dryer and everything and bought my pretty dress and hopefully it's not torrential rain so I can get ready. Got everything charging overnight. Right, it is getting dark now. It's about half nine. That's what I love about camping is that you actually end up like really being in tune with the day and the night and like you wake up early because it's sunny, sunny early and you go to bed kind of early. When it gets dark, I really like that. I feel like you always sleep so well with no distractions from like indoor lights and screens and stuff. Um, I'm going to get all cosy in my PJs. Good night world. <laughs> oh. There is something really lovely about like hearing all the children playing and being all happy. It makes it's like really relaxing noise, just hearing like children laughing and I feel like really safe. Um, I think I was toying between like just going wild camping somewhere, but the difference it makes knowing that you're allowed to be somewhere. You're not gonna get told to move on. You're not in danger. I actually don't know what I was thinking earlier because I put my head down in the bottom end in the tiny claustrophobic end. So I need to move my whole bed around. I do not want to feel the back of the tent touching my face in the night. Wait, I'm actually buzzing about the sleeping bag. It's so nice. So nice. I love that vintage caramel. I think that's a really cool label. Let's try it out. I love it. So happy. I'd be interested to know what's your like perfect scenario to recharge in. Because some we're all so different. I find it really interesting that for me I could I could do this for days. I wouldn't find it boring. I'd I'd love it. Um, and I don't I really don't mind being on my own, but I know some people really, really don't like being on their own and they recharge when they're in like a big group of people and they're socializing. I just I think sometimes my battery, my social battery just gets low and I just need to Recharge it up. The children are still running around outside, just listening to the tinkering sound of the little light rain on the tent. Feeling very cosy in here. Catch you in the morning unless something eventful happens in the night. Woken up to the sound of the rain, but I actually love the sound of the rain. I'm hoping I don't need to go out for a wee. So I'm so cosy right now. I'm beginning to remember why, when we were little, our tent blew away here. We're so close to the sea. And it gets so windy. And the tent is just completely flapping around right now. And I did a bad job of pegging the guy ropes. I didn't do it very well. I just loosely did it. I didn't tie it in the tent. And now I must feel about that. So now we're just flapping around. morning from a very rainy campsite. It's been raining all night. I have to go out and go to the toilet but I'm waiting for a gap. I'm excited to have my camping breakfast outside. Let's see what it's like out there. Let's stop raining. Oh, I'll save my new glasses. I got them yesterday. They're a bit wild. <laughs> but let's just try them. Oh, it's actually got blue skies out there. It's nice. It is so nice to wake up to some sunshine and let the tent dry off. I love this campsite so much. It's so lovely just looking at the sea. Now let's see, let's get myself a cup of tea and let's see how our battery's doing after a night of running the fridge 
and charging the camera stuff. 75%. Not bad. So I've got a portable solar panel kit that I got with my Bluetti power bank. I'm gonna try and see if I can charge it up a little bit this morning with the sunshine. I'm intrigued to know what it's like because we've only ever used our solar panels that are like inbuilt on top of our van. This is really, really cool to have because it means we can just like basically take take our power anywhere and be off grid as long as we get some sunshine. So let's try this out. I've never used it before. Whoa, there's so many. That's cool. I think I've sorted it, I've still got them at 45 degrees angle. Uh, although, my power bank lead is on that end. I don't know if it's gonna stretch. Oh, it might. It's a very fancy bit of kit. I think it's gonna stretch. <laughs> so yeah, I just plug it into the side here where it says DC PV input. Um, so I've got different ways of charging it. I can charge it with another battery. So I could actually try it out with our other um, portable battery we've got, see if that would charge it. And then we could charge it with mains. That's what I did before I came here, just at home. Or solar PV. So it's not super sunny, but let's give this a go. Okay, I've done it. Plugged it in. And it's actually saying we're getting 48 watts at the moment, so not loads, but I'm shading it a bit myself. And it is only eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, 100 watts. That's exciting. So they have these little like angle strips on the back. You can have them just flat. So I guess like if we were in the van, we could just put them on top of the van or on top of the car if they haven't got space. But there's these little like um, straps at the back that you can level it up to 45 degrees. And I like this neat thing that it all wraps into. God, it's windy today. Painting my nails, ready for the hen party I'm about to go to. It's quite a cute one, it's um, in a village hall. And we're doing painting of some seascapes, so it's going to be quite wholesome and cute. It's going to be quite funny getting ready for this hen at the campsite, but we'll do our best. I think I'm going to go quite dressed up. Mmm, almond and dates and salted caramel oats, delicious. I wish I could, I actually really fancy staying another night. It's also making me think I would really like to walk a stretch of the Cornish coast path on my own. This is one of the things I love about camping, like where you drag out like meals and everything just takes quite a long time, but I actually love it. Like when me and my siblings go on, go on camping trips, we just spend so much time just making cups of teas, having a natter, I really like just slowing down and just enjoying like the little things like having a nice breakfast outside looking at the sea i really like this little camping setup it's really nice like having having your little kitchen in the boot right i've got to leave this pitch by 10 so i'm thinking pack down and let's go to the beach like traveling light because it just means the pack down is so quick oh my gosh it's windy though well, let's skedaddle thinking I, i'd like to come back uh, with tom and just just have a time here like maybe just maybe even like a few days it's, it's so nice to just get away like so we yeah we rent a house now and since like i love i love having the house it means so much to me i think i was ready to have our own private indoor space after living in the van for four years and it's just so worth it to me and to have a place to like host people as well guys can you believe it i got this car last year around this time last year for 350 pounds and let me tell you she is she's done me good she's done me a world of good i 
couldn't have could not be happier. Bye Travik, love you. I'll be back. I really like you. It's making it's really just gives me all the feels for family camping holidays here. And I definitely wanna continue that tradition. Take my family here. Ooh, is this the way? Feels like it's a very farm tracky way. I'm gonna give it a go. Interesting, interesting road. It doesn't feel like a road. I don't want to get stuck. Oh my god, look at this. What the hell? This has got to be the way. Okay. That's so stressful. Thank you so much. <laughs> what the hell is this? Just people just opened a gate for me. I'm stressed. This doesn't feel like a road people should be driving down. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. What have I done? Wow, the sea's just right there. Is this a way? Is this a real way? I'm right on the cliffs. What the hell? Look at this. Beautiful! I'm just on this like <laughs> road by the sea. This doesn't feel like somewhere sh cars should go, but I'm going because this is the way that Maps is telling me. Three minutes. We've just got to survive three minutes. Wow. This is amazing. Wow, this is a, such a stunning road. So far, I've been zero passing places so there's a gate okay we will go open the gate I don't know where I am guys but this does not feel like the way look at this place stunning go on little pat can't believe a little pat has come all this way so beautiful. I actually have to get in the sea. I think I came a weird way. Surely that's not the normal way. It's here. It's here. We made it, guys. Maybe that was the way. That felt really, really exciting and beautiful. Wow. I've just remembered that I took the van to this car park in lockdown and it wasn't the same road, it was a different road, but it was still really gnarly. And I was so scared, but we, like, luckily we didn't meet anyone. It was literally just about to get out and it started like chucking it down with rain. So it's looking less appealing to go and swim. I am glad um, that I packed my tent down though, that was good. I think I will, I think I will wait for this rain to pass because it's a bit ridiculous to go down to the beach now. Oh, just my luck. Well, actually, it definitely could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. I could have had the tent up and like the battery out. No, how we're hanging about. Let's get in that sea. I think we need to do it. I've been feeling a little bit like anxious this morning, a bit of a funny feeling in my stomach. And I think getting in the sea will help that. It's always a good idea. I didn't, I wasn't sure if I wanted to come camping. I'm really glad I did. And now I'm like, oh, do I go in the sea? Do I go down to the beach? Who am I kidding? That's going to make me feel better. Hell yeah. Wow, it looks so beautiful. I don't think there's anyone else on the beach either. I just love the south coast. It's so quiet. Just love looking out to that horizon. Very calm, very lucky to live by the sea. That's what I like to see. So pretty. 
Look at this amazing, gorgeous beach. Let's go in the water. I think I chose a good time. The sun's out, the sea's looking turquoise. Let's get in there. It's not that hot though. Life, baby. I love going in the sea. Oh, I wasn't going to get my hair wet because hen do and all that, but I can't resist the feeling of being under the water. Oh boy, is this nice. Whee! That feels so good. Oh, the sea is so amazing. Oh, I feel amazing now. Okay, never avoid a swim because you will always feel better. Clear sea. It's only been a night and I just feel like I've really reset and it's been so relaxing and it would be more fun to come to that campsite with other people but I did actually really enjoy that night to myself and I think a night is perfect well maybe another one would be nice and actually that's that sea swim has definitely helped with a bit of anxiety I was feeling it's amazing isn't it how like just going into like a cold water or something can change your state of mind it can just shift it it's like you have a shock in the here and now a shock to your senses that actually makes get out of that headspace. I do just love how my car takes me to these little remote places because I definitely, I wouldn't feel comfortable driving the van around in those little lanes. And we're just so lucky to live here that it's, it's just so beautiful. As always, the best thing to do after a dip is to do a fast-paced walk to warm yourself back up. And it just started raining again. <laughs> it's so on and off, but like I think that is the beauty of camping because you you like you get to enjoy the burst of sun. Whereas if I was in a house today, I would just like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be out I wouldn't be outside. I'd be oh no, it's rainy today. Whereas I'm just making the most of these bursts of sun. <sighs> this has probably been annoying so many people, but yeah, I tried to glue it on. Tom tried to glue it on for me with epoxy, but it's just come off again. So sorry about this hanging down and all of the shots. But I'm just making myself a little cup of tea. The novelty definitely hasn't worn off, like having an electric kettle in my boot. And obviously I'm a keen tea drinker, so I'm just constantly getting the cups of teas in me especially after that swim. Above my head. 
always time for a cup of tea, hey? So interesting, most people are going left out of the car park. So I came a bit of a weird way, I think. I'm gonna go follow those guys on the way out. He's doing my makeup in the front seat. Who says you can't be glam after camping? Sure, my hair is gonna work. Right, now I somehow to get into my slinky dress in the beach car park. Okay, ready for my hem party. <laughs> I actually tried it on with the boots. I think that's gonna have to do. Well guys, painting my nails, painting my toes. I am hen do ready after that camping trip. Um, yeah, thanks for coming along with me. It was a bit of a random one, but I hope you enjoyed just like chilling out with me on a bit of a solo camp from the Cornish Cliffs. And let me know if you've got any ideas you'd like to see me do next. Um, definitely want to do more like hiking, camping, swimming. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Hope you all have a lovely weeks.